Alright, so I thought I would make a quick video about how BRSO Articulate works, which is this awesome plugin that switches articulations based on MIDI colors and FL Studio uh, for orchestra libraries. The plugin is free. You can find it at Synthetic Orchestra on this website here. And I'm going to show you quickly what it does. So I'm just, this is my template. So I'm just going to like. Alright, so let's do that and let's do this maybe and then we can do this. So this was Picado, this was Portado, Long I think, yeah, Tremolo. Right? This is really handy and I love this plugin. Um, it's amazing honestly for orchestral music. You can use it for other type of music too which I do sometimes. All right, so I'm gonna show you what you need to think about when you uh, set up an instance of contact and BRS or articulate. All right, so we're gonna also open BRS or articulate. All right, and we can do cinematic. Actually, we can do uh, Two different libraries, why not? All right, and I'm just picking the ensembles. We can copy this or clone it. That's what they call it in FL Studio. All right, all right. So the first thing to think about, this is not inside of contact, all right? This is not inside of contact. This is inside of FL Studio. First thing to think about is you need to go to the settings here. So I was here, I think contact, I think this window is like this in the beginning. And you just click here, and then you click on this, all right? All right, so import, input port has to match the port of BRSO Articulate, all right? So I'm gonna put it on a high number because this is my template and I don't want the ports to collide I don't want something weird to happen while I, I explain this to you. Um, all right, that's the first step. The second step is you need to go to processing and you need to auto automap this. That's what I always do. I've never caused a problem. All right, now this is inside of contact. Channels inside BRSO Articulate is a channel uh, of the contact instances, right? So if I do this, and I play this, nothing is going to happen. Why? Because BRSO Articulate has, uh, doesn't match with any meta channels inside of contact. So if I put this on one, it's gonna play. This also means that if I decide that, well, I, w I don't want this BRSO Articulate instance play this channel, I want it to play this one. Well, that was the wrong one. You just switch MIDI channels to two in this case, because this is MIDI channel two. All right, so that's how easy it is. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up um, the articulations. Every library is different. Some libraries actually show some icons where which keys does what. Sometimes you have to figure it out yourself. So I open, if I open Metropolis Arc 1, for example, you actually need to like check on the keys. Like there's no icons saying that. Well, this is C2, for example. It's not, but... So you have to, like, figure it out that way. All right. Um, so our 
we're gonna set up like two articulations. I think you will get the gist of it. If I just do two. Um, all right, so let's do this one. Um, and this is Arco. I always name those Arco. Um, let's do Trump. So now we did set up two. Obviously, I named these in my template. So. See, it's, it's that simple. Well, obviously, other DAWs. At least in Cubase, it's kind of simpler. But I like the piano roll in FL Studio. Um, what else? Yeah. So the great thing about PRSO Articulate is it has a lot of MIDI CCs already set up for you. You got dynamics, you got expression, uh, you got breadth, which I don't use a lot, uh, speed, which I don't use a lot, vibrato. I mainly use dynamics and expression. Expression is kind of like a volume knob. Uh, dynamic is kind of how hard or soft you hit, you're hitting the notes. So in this case, I just right clicked here, edit events, um, and it's kind of cumbersome to do this in FL Studio, but you have to open your piano roll, then you gotta click here, and like there's nothing, well that's because I triggered it before, but for example expression isn't here. So if I wanted expression, I need to right click here. Edit events in piano roll, and then now I just triggered these ones. So those mean that means that I can like switch without well right click here. So, for example, let's say I want to do this. You can also, if you want to, for example, you can go to controls too. Say you want to learn, you can also go inside here. Assign, I don't know, let's say. So it becomes a new control. Obviously, you need to make sure that it doesn't collide with your other. For example, this is CC2, this is CC11, this is CC16, CC21, and you see those, well, on top of FL Studio on the left panel, right underneath where it says like file, edit, and all those. So when you make a new control, don't make a CC that already exists in BRSO Articulate. All right, so say, say you wanna learn this knob here. So you right click, you click on learn, then you just, and you learned it, right? So now, if I do this, there's almost no volume, right? And if I just do this, it's too, it's gonna to be too loud, so I'm gonna, That's if you want to automate stuff like that. So if I right click here, obviously you can also name it. Uh, volume contact. Right click, I'm gonna edit. And you're gonna see like, if I do this, let's start here, and be like, oh, well, I think the tremolo is too loud or something. You're gonna notice that this slider is gonna move. So you can do things like that. You can probably also do like an on and off switch, like some 
something says those. So let's call this 6 to 8. For example, you got legato here. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but yeah. All right, so legato, let's see, let's see if you Probably, I'm not sure. Yeah, on and off switch. Uh, so that's kind of like how that plugin works. Um, it's also useful for other things that's not orchestral, but it's mainly for orchestral music. Um, I've seen videos about this plugin in the past, and it sort of like shows that, well, you can switch articulations, but it doesn't exactly show how you use it. At least I, ha I haven't found one, so I hope this is helpful if you're gonna do orchestral music or any kind of music. And I think probably in the end of this week or next week, I'm gonna do a video about either contact uh, output like how you send all those instruments to your mixer um, because this is not how it usually looks and I think like you when you start contact you got like five stereo outputs or four I don't remember to be honest um, or I'm gonna do a breakdown video of my Sonic Green Hill Zone orchestral cover. I think it's one of my best orchestrations. So that's what's gonna happen. All right, I hope you have a good one and take care.